Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone who's tuning in. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. On behalf of Biopetro Arab Oil and Gas Academy, SPE Egypt section, I'd like to welcome you all in our today's session. I am Mayor Tar, Gas and Petrochemical Engineer student, and I'll be your moderator for today. Um, please don't forget to, to drop your questions in the Q&A section below. And please keep the chat box professional and ethical. So without further ado, let us welcome engineer Hani Matwalli, who will be giving us a session in the future of casing uh, while technology drilling. Engineer Hani Matwalli holds a, ma a master's degree, degree in science and petroleum engineering from the Faculty of Petroleum and Mining Engineering, Suez University in Egypt. He's an expert drilling engineer in addition to his accreditation as an overseas IADC and IWCF well control instructor and approved practical assessor for drilling and welding in intervention operations. Engineer Halim Mutwelli has over 15 years of experience in oil and gas operations. His experience in drilling and, and work over cons consulting started in 2006 after joining Weather for Drilling International Company and progressed drilling and work over RAG super ended on Agiba Petroleum Company. Currently, engineer Heli Metwelli acts as a technical support team leader at NEFT in, uh, Energies Training Institute in Saudi Arabia. Uh, so thank you so much, engineer, engineer Heli Metwelli, for coming today. And the mic is yours. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, Dr. Ahmed El Garhi, uh, for your invitation. Um, today, inshallah, we will have a very, very important topic. We need to discuss about uh, the future of casing while drilling technology. But first, just please confirm my voice is clear. Everything is perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so we will go through our uh, webinar agenda. We don't need to uh, lose our time. So I will start uh, with the introduction just to introduce the casing wire drilling technology. Um, and then I will uh, ask a question, how to improve drilling performance? Because once we will talk about uh, any drilling technology, mainly we need to improve the drilling performance. So how to improve drilling performance? This is a general question. It is not related to casing wire drilling, but it will be a general question. How to improve drilling performance? And for anyone who, uh, uh, who doesn't have any uh, background in this uh, technology, so also we need to answer this question. What is the meaning of casing wire drilling? And to, um, to get the benefit from this uh, webinar, we need first to go back to uh, review the conventional drilling process. What is the difference between the conventional drilling, the old school and the new technology we will discuss in this webinar. Um, and also uh, uh, very important to review the history of casing wire drilling. When you start to deliver or when you start to perform this technology and what is the first trial uh, in which country, in which place in, and uh, how we, uh, we go through this uh, technology uh, till we have this advanced technology today and most of the uh, operator company now work with this technology. Um, once we talk about this technology, we need to uh, mention the advantage of this technology, the casing wire drilling. What is the advantage? Uh, what is the benefit from this casing wire drilling technology? And to be honest, uh, there is no technology without its challenges. Some challenges in this uh, technology, some uh, uh, problems, um, and uh, most of these problems already solved. Uh, the most uh, service companies worldwide, the biggest companies like uh, Schlumberger, Halliburton, Baker, uh, and Tesco sit together to solve these problems. And we will discuss uh, which country in which, sorry, in which uh, company uh, these problems already solve it. Um, and to go through this uh, webinar, we need to uh, identify or to describe the casing wire drilling systems. 
many or a lot of systems we have in this casing while drilling. It is not only one system. Uh, as you will see, we have mainly three systems. So we need also to differentiate between uh, all of these systems and what is the difference between uh, system number one, system number two, and system number three. If you have a friend work in this uh, technology, also you will uh, you will find he will discuss about uh, casing wire drilling levels. So um, actually, we have big difference between casing wire drilling system and the casing wire drilling level. We will see what is the difference between level and system, uh, and what is the uh, uh, the main uh, concept about this uh, technology. And to, uh, to operate this technology, casing wire drilling, what is the required equipment we need to consider? We need to prepare. So also we will go through this equipment in this webinar. Uh, take care. Um, while uh, preparing for this job, you will make your design for the casing. It is not designed for casing to will it will be uh, set in the hole and cemented. In this case, the casing will act as a drill string. So the casing design uh, completely different. We need also to discuss this issue. What is the most important factors we need to consider uh, if we will go through this casing design as a drill string? It is not only casing string to set and cement it. It is here, it will be here uh, drill string. So we need to uh, also uh, cover this point. How to perform semen job? And the last question in our webinar here, uh, what will decide if the casing wire drilling, it will be uh, suitable or it will be the best solution in a specific project? How we can decide that? Casing wire drilling, it will be the the best one in this uh, concession, or uh, it will not be effective and we need to go through conventional uh, drilling technology. Uh, like you see here from this uh, slide, around 14 points we need to cover. And to be honest, uh, all of this point to cover, it needs more than uh, seven days, one week. So I will try to pass through all of this point to take overview. And then if we need to uh, go deeper in this point, we can arrange another meeting. Let's first to introduce this technology, casing wire drilling. Any technology, it will come to solve the problems. And here, this casing wire drilling technology uh, comes to uh, eliminate or to uh, prevent the most problems uh, with the old technology or with the old uh, drilling technology. Mainly here we talk about uh, loss of circulation, we talk about uh, pipe sticking, we talk about uh, operation time. So by using this casing wire drilling, we can avoid uh, all of these problems uh, over 90%. Uh, how to avoid or how to eliminate all of these problems, you will see in this uh, webinar. Uh, and before start go through this uh, sections, we need first to answer this question. How to improve drilling performance? Here, I'm not talking about uh, casing wide drilling. I talk about uh, the drilling performance in general. How to improve drilling performance? Any drilling engineer uh, need to improve the drilling performance. First, he need to identify the drilling problems, which drilling problems he will face during drilling operation. And he can check all of these problems or he can review all of these problems from the offset wells. So any well drilled in this area, we can check the report, uh, which problems we faced before, uh, at which depths, uh, and how to avoid or how to solve all of these problems. And we need to sit together as an operator company, as a service company, to select the best solutions. It will not be a one side uh, decision. We need to work as a team and we need to consider the new technology in the market. 
Here, I mean the casing wire drilling technology and also manage the pressure drilling. And uh, for your information, manage the pressure drilling, it will be uh, the next webinar, inshallah, next week. So uh, I think this is a sequence to improve the drilling performance. First, identify and define the drilling problems and uh, uh, prepare meeting with all the key personnel uh, involved in this operation, uh, the operator company, the service company, and decide together how to solve all of these problems or how to avoid all of these problems and consider the new technology. Here, uh, I mean, casing wire drilling and the managed pressure drilling. And remember, in the oil field, we need to work as a team. Teamwork, it can be the, sol the, the solution uh, for uh, a lot of problems. The first question or the important question in this uh, webinar for every, anyone here uh, attending this uh, webinar, he will ask, what is the meaning of casing wild drilling? What is the meaning of casing wild drilling? Actually, casing wild drilling is new technology. In this technology, we will use the casing string itself to drill the hole instead of drill pipe. We will not use drill pipe or we can use it, but mainly we will use the casing string. So you can imagine uh, how many times you can uh, save, uh, how you can reduce the cost of the operation. If you will run with the casing string itself to drill the hole and also to set the casing at depth. So uh, we can perform uh, two operations in one time. To drill the hole and also to case the formation or the open hole section. This is the meaning of casing while drilling. But to understand or to be familiar with casing while drilling, we need first to review the old school, the conventional drilling process. How we can drill uh, our uh, well conventionally, we need drill pipe, we need drill coolers. And the casing string itself, it will be the last stage. So first you need to run drill pipe, drill cooler, connect it to drill bit, uh, apply weight on the drill bit and start pumping, start circulation and uh, drill your uh, your uh, section using drill pipe, not casing string. And once we reach the uh, target depth, we will stop drilling. Sometimes we can uh, perform some uh, open hole logging to uh, monitor or to evaluate the formation. And uh, we will decide after that to uh, run the casing string. Why we need to run casing string? If we will run the uh, service casing string here, we need to install or we need to make up uh, the wellhead equipment and the BOB. And for the next casing string, like intermediate casing or production casing here, we need to isolate between different formations. We need to uh, uh, keep the hole open, avoid hole collapse. And sometimes it can be a solution if we have uh, problematic zones like loss of circulation. If we have loss of circulation and we try uh, to seal off the loss of circulation using uh, loss of circulation material, LCM, or bumping cement without any success. So the final decision, it can be run casing string and isolate this problematic zone. So a lot of benefits for casing string to be set and cemented in the hole. But to be honest, the operation will not be smooth, will not be easy like you imagine. While drilling operation, we have a lot of problems. And even while running hole with casing, you can find a lot of problems. For example, here, the well bore stability. The well bore is not stable. We have tight hole, we cannot continue running hole with casing. And sometimes we can stuck with the casing string itself. 
and the decision it can be pull out a hole with a casing string and run a hole with a drill bit to check what we have and they try to uh, clear the bars for the casing string. So the operation will not be easy. We need to, uh, to think, we need to find another solution. Even while running hole was casing as a casing string, not as a drill string, after finished drilling operation and running hole was a casing, if we find some problems in the way, we have only two options. We can circulate the hole, and sometimes also we can reciprocate the casing string itself. Reciprocate the casing string, it means to move the casing string up and down. But to rotate the casing string, it will not be easy. So all of these problems push the drilling engineers to find solution, to get new technology to solve all of these problems. Uh, let, let me show this short video here uh, and we can review this conventional uh, drilling process. Like you can see from your side here, this is a drill bit connected to drill string consists of drill cooler, drill pipe, drill pipe uh, whatever uh, uh, the rotation will come from the top drive or from the Kelly at the service. Uh, the driller will continue operation and they will uh, bump fluid, drilling fluid, and a lot of function of the drilling fluid to keep the hole stable, to control the formation pressure, to avoid kicking. Uh, it will take time. And if you need to go deeper, you need to make connection. Connection it means to connect another drill pipe joint. Like you can see here, the connection, it can be single joint or it can be three joints or two joints. It depends on the rig, uh, super uh, rig or uh, work over, or sorry, uh, small rig, or sometimes work over rig, you can also uh, um, go deeper with the drill pipe. So all of this operation will take time. And once you reach the depths, you will retrieve your drill string completely uh, to sit back uh, on the derrick and the prepare for casing trip. It is not uh, easy operation. It will take time, a lot of uh, hazard, a lot of problems. So uh, this, it can be the reason that we need to go through this new technology, advanced technology to avoid all of these problems. Like you see here, uh, the crew start to make connection uh, to continue drilling operation. And finally, you will see that they will uh, retrieve, yeah, they will retrieve now the drill string, drill pipe to prepare for casing trip. All of this conventional drilling, all of this conventional drilling. So what is the history of the casing wire drilling? What is the first trial? Actually, we need to come to go back uh, in 1890. It was the first trial for casing wire drilling operation. And exactly in uh, 1940 and in the early of 1950 in Louisiana, the first well was drilled using this technology. But at this moment, it was very basic operation or very basic technology. Just uh, weld the drill bit into the casing string. That's enough. There is no any more uh, component or equipment at this time. Just connect or weld uh, the drill bit into the casing string and uh, drill few hundred feet. So what is the advantage of casing while drilling? What is the benefits? Please remember for any drilling technology, mainly we need to improve the drilling performance, improve drilling performance, but also we need to consider the cost. 
Sometimes we can improve the drilling performance, but at higher cost, it will not be accepted. So we need to optimize drilling performance with cost. So this is mainly our target here by using this casing wide drilling operation. We need to improve the drilling performance at the lowest cost. Number one, from this casing wild drilling, we can reduce the rig operation time. How to reduce rig operation time? If you remember the last video, we already watched it. If we will utilize this casing wild drilling, no need to trip the rear string and spend time during tripping, trip in, trip out. So uh, we can reduce the operation time and the operation time, it means money, mean cost. And also we can avoid or eliminate swab and surge pressure, as you will see in the next slides, uh, some uh, operation problems like uh, swab and surge pressure. Also, we can avoid all of these problems using this casing while drilling. So number one, we can reduce rig operation time. Also, we can solve a lot of problems. And mainly here, I need to talk about loss of circulation. Someone will ask how to solve loss of circulation problem using this casing wire drilling. Here we have um, this unique feature of casing wire drilling, which is called plastic or smear effect. Plastic or smear effect. What is the meaning of plastic effect? While drilling operation using casing while drilling technique, as we have very small clearance in between the casing string and the formation, so the cutting itself, it will seal off the formation. It is not easy to imagine, I, 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 I know. So, I, I prepare this uh, short video to be clear how casing wire drilling it can solve loss of circulation problem. Like you will see here from this video, while drilling operation, if we have loss of circulation zone, normally we will lose uh, our drilling fluid. And once we, we lost drilling fluid, it means that we damage the formation. But if we will work with casing while drilling, what will happen? Here, you can see this plastic or smearing effect. The clearance between the casing string and the formation is very, very small. And the movement of the casing, it will push the cutting into the formation. You can see from your side, the cutting will seal off the formation. Someone can ask a question. This cutting can damage the formation. Actually, this from the formation itself, there is no uh, damaging material or there is no any uh, uh, chemicals uh, in this cutting. Cutting, we have cutting from the formation and it will seal off the formation if we have loss of circulation zones. So by using this casing wire drilling, we can eliminate, we can solve the problem of loss of circulation. And for anyone here who uh, doesn't have uh, any background of loss of circulation, loss of circulation, it means you will lose part of your drilling float into the formation while drilling. Sometimes it can be partial loss of circulation. We can lose 10 barrels per hour. Sometimes it can be uh, complete loss of circulation if we lose uh, uh, over 50 barrel per hour, or in the worst case, complete loss of circulation if we lost all the drilling fluid into the formation. So if you will select this technology, casing wire drilling, you will uh, solve this problem. Also, as we considered that the clearance between the casing string and the hole, it will be very, very small. 
the whole cleaning, it will be better than conventional drilling, whole cleaning. Why? Because the annular velocity, the annular velocity it will be very, very high. In this case, it will be more than enough to carry the cutting to the surface. So also using this technology, it will uh, improve the borehole cleaning. Still, we have more. Cost, how to save the cost or how to reduce the cost. You can calculate how many hours to handle the drill pipe to transport, to trip in, trip out. All of this, it will be hours equal dollars. So we can reduce the cost by eliminating uh, handling, inspecting, transporting, or even tripping the drill string into the hole or out of hole. And even we can eliminate some rig equipment, as you will see. So all of this benefits lead us to use this technology, casing wild drilling. But as we have benefits, we have some challenges. Which problem we have here in this technology? Number one, high torque and drag. Our casing string normally will be bigger than the drill pipe. The casing string will be bigger than drill pipe. And as we go deeper, we need to apply high torque to rotate our casing string. This is a problem. We need to uh, consider service equipment providing this high torque. So this is a challenge. We need to provide, we need to transfer high torque to rotate the drill bit at the bottom. So how to solve this problem? You will see already this problem solved it. You will see how this problem was solved. It. Also, you need to consider hydraulics. You need to uh, modify or you need to uh, change the hydraulic design during casing wide drilling operation. Why? Again, the small clearance between the casing string and the formation site, it will create very, very high equivalent circulating density, high ECD, high equivalent circulating density. The density of the fluid, the effective fluid density downhole, it will be very, very high and it can break down the formation. So we need to consider all of these problems, hydraulics. And we don't have any guarantee that we will not retrieve the casing string from the hole. Our plan to drill the whole section using the casing till we reach the target depth and then perform semen job. But sometimes we have a problem during drilling operation and we need to retrieve the casing string. How to retrieve this casing string in this technology? So we need to consider this one very, very important. How to retrieve the casing string. And sometimes the problem is not from the formation side, the problem from the drill bit. There is no progress. The rate of penetration very, very bad. We cannot continue like this. We need to retrieve the drill string to change or to check the drill bit. So consider how to retrieve, how to trip out your casing string. And again, once we talk about technology, we need to consider cost. We need to consider the cost. And actually right now, the cost of this operation is not uh, is not in the same level with the conventional drilling. We need, you need to 
uh, buy uh, more for this technology. So all of these problems need to solve, not to be solved. How to be solved? You will see. Uh, another operation uh, problems like uh, how to connect the casing string itself into the top drive and to hold connected during rotation. How to provide rotation from the top drive to the drill bit using this casing string. And then sometime we need to uh, install or we need to make up um, under reamer in our drill string. So how to connect this under reamer into the casing string. All of these problems already solved it, but the first trial uh, uh, of this casing wire drilling technology faced a lot of problems, a lot of problems. So how to solve these problems? This is a correct time for the operator companies and the service companies to sit together and to discuss how we can solve these problems. And actually, in June 2012, two biggest companies worldwide set together and decided to go through this technology to make some modification. Which companies? Schlumberger and Tesco, as published in the website of Schlumberger. So in June 2012, Schlumberger and Tesco make a cooperation and Tesco decided to uh, deliver or to support Schlumberger with some advanced technology equipment, some te equipment, for example, CDS. CDS, this casing drive system. You will see this one in the next slides. So once we have a cooperation in between different companies to solve the problem, the problem will be solved. And actually, this is what happened. So um, now this is a correct time to discuss the difference between casing while drilling system and the casing while drilling level, level of design. How many systems we have in this technology? How many systems? Actually, we have three three systems. So the casing wire drilling systems, including three systems. We can start from the uh, left side, from the left side here. Non-retrievable system, and then retrievable system, and finally liner drilling system. And actually, this different systems by the time start from the non-retrievable system and then be uh, retrievable. And finally, today we have liner drilling system. Non-retrievable system, very simple system, just connect your drill bit into the casing string and you need to rotate the, the casing string from the service. So you need rotation from top drive. The top drive will rotate the casing string to the drill bit. And there is no any option here in this non-retrievable system if you will make any uh, uh, deviation. If you need to go uh, horizontally, it will not be applicable in this non-retrievable system. So just only applicable for vertical hole section. The second system here is the retrievable system. And this retrievable system able to install, to connect motor, downhole motor, and the rotation of the casing, it will not be from the surface. The rotation will be from the downhole motor. So we can solve the problem of the uh, service uh, power or the rotation from the top drive if we will use this retrievable system. Just we can install downhole motor and the downhole motor will uh, deliver the rotation, the power to rotate the drill bit. And here also in this retrievable system, we can 
start go to perform any directional uh, drilling operation with the retrievable system. And retrievable system here, it means that you can retrieve, you can retrieve the bottom hole assembly at any time without retrieving the casing itself. Like you see here from this uh, figure, the bottom hole assembly connected into the casing. And we can internally retrieve the bottom hole assembly. So if there is any problem in the drill bit, no need to retrieve the casing strength completely. Just we need to retrieve the BHA, the bottom hole assembly, and you check what we have and you change the drill bit, for example, and then run back to the bottom. And the last updated system here is liner drilling system. The last one. Here we have the ability to run the casing string as a liner. And for who knows this one liner drilling or liner casing, no need to uh, extend the casing string to the surface. Just we need to cover the open hole section. So in this liner drilling system, we can run in hole with the casing string as a liner and connect the casing string into the drill pipe. And once we reach the bottom, uh, we can disconnect our drill pipe and keep liner into the hole. Like you can see here from this retrievable system and liner drilling system, we can consider under reamer. We can install under reamer in these two systems, retrievable and liner drilling system. But for the first one, non-retrievable system, very, very basic uh, uh, casing string. And as you can see from your side, in this non-retrievable system, we have two levels, level one, level two. In the retrievable system, level three. Liner drilling system, level four, level five. So casing while drilling system is not same like casing while drilling level. If we talk about non-retrievable system, it can be level one or level two. Retrievable system, it can be level three. Liner drilling system, we have two options, level four or five. Someone will ask, what is the meaning of level one, two, three, four? The casing wire drilling system now is very, very clear. Non-retrievable, retrievable, and the liner. What about casing while drilling levels. Let's talk about casing while drilling levels and we will start talking about level one. In the level one, if we have casing while drilling operation and this classified as a level one, it means the hole already drilled using conventional drilling process. So hold the drilled using drill pipe, but we will utilize this casing while drilling technology just while running hole with casing in case we need to rotate the casing. We will be able to rotate the casing by using this technology. So level one, the hole already drilled using drill pipe, but while running hole with casing string as normal, we will use this technology to be able to rotate the casing string if we need to rotate casing string down hole. This one, level one. In level two, we will drill our whole section from the beginning using this casing wire drill. So we will uh, connect the drill bit to the casing string and start drilling operation. And just we have only one option here to drill vertical hole to drill vertical hole. So there is no uh, directional tools in our drill string. And we need to rotate our casing from the surface, from the top drive, this level two. In level three here, we start to uh, start modifying this uh, bottom hole assembly by inserting a uh, downhole motor. Just we need to install downhole motor in our bottom hole assembly. No need to rotate the casing string from the surface. We have downhole motor. 
just pumping fluid, drilling fluid, and activate your downhole motor. And we can also make uh, uh, directional uh, operation. So this is level three. In level four, this related to liner drilling. We can uh, uh, make our uh, casing as a liner, and this will be advanced level. According to uh, last study, level five is still, still, still under study. So this one is the new prototype. Uh, there is no uh, enough uh, publication or reference for this level five, but it has to be advanced. So this one, level one, level two, level three, and the level four, mainly we talk about casing wild drilling. So again, big difference between casing wild drilling system and the level. System, we have three systems, non-retrievable, retrievable, and liner, but for Casing while drilling levels, it can be level one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, which equipment we need to prepare to perform this uh, technology, casing while drilling? Which equipment? Here I collected the required equipment into four, four, uh, uh, parts. We need rig, and this rig, it will not be a, a, a conventional rig. We need to modify the rig to add some equipment into the rig to be able to uh, uh, utilize this technology. So we need casing wild drilling rig. Sometimes it can be our conventional rig with some modifications, and it can be special rig for casing wild drilling. We will talk about all of this uh, equipment one by one. So we need casing wild drilling rig. We need drive system, drive system, rotation, and the casing string itself, and some other equipment. Let's start from the casing wild drilling rig. This one, it can be our conventional rig modified with some equipment, or it can be special rig designed, prepared, fabricated for this job. And mainly here, we need this rig to be able to be able and contain drive system, rotary system, and circulation system. We need to drive the drill string, casing string, we need to rotate the casing string, and please be careful. Here we talk about rotation with casing. It's not same like drill pipe. We need high torque. So drive system, rotary system, and circulation system. How to uh, provide this rotation? We need casing drive system, CDS. And this CDS, like you'll see, we have short video uh, showing this CDS casing drive system. This casing drive system will be connected to the top drive. Like you see here in this figure, uh, uh, the top section here, this top drive, and the red section, this one CDS, uh, casing drive system. The casing drive system here, CDS, will hold all the string weight. CDS will hold all the string weight, the casing string weight. And also, you will connect your casing string into the CDS. It will not be connected to the top drive. The connection to the casing string from the CDS. So this is very, very important. And actually, if you remember the last meeting in between Schlumberger and the Tesco, Tesco decided to provide Schlumberger with some equipment. This one, CDS from Tesco. So it can solve the problem here. It can uh, rotate, it can apply torque from this CDS. And remember, the torque will not be connected to, to drive. The torque will be connected direct to CDS, to casing drive system. 
This casing drying system, actually, we have two types of casing drive system. The point here, or the problem here, how to latch, how to connect the casing string. Again, remember, you will connect your casing string into the CDS, into the casing drive system. It will not be connected to the top drive. So how to connect? It can be internal clamp or it can be external clamp. Like you see here in this uh, figure in the left side, this one is internal and this one is external. Mainly we will use the internal clamp to latch the casing string internally. If the casing string size larger than 958. If the casing string size bigger than 958, so internal clamp it will be recommended. Let's see this one in this short video. This one internal clamp it. Okay, like you can see from your side here, internal clamp it like we have metal slips internally in the in, inside the casing string, and by using hydraulic system, it can latch, it can uh, uh, hold the casing string while drilling. So you can see here, this one during retrieving the internal clamp, the internal CDS. Uh, for your information, this operation was uh, performed in Egypt and it was successful operation. So here, this one is internal clamp. What about the external? External. Here we will latch, we will latch our uh, uh, casing string from the outer side. Like you'll see, again, the casing drive system here will be connected to the top drive and it will provide the, the required torque to rotate the casing string from the surface. Here, this one is external CDS, external clamp it. Connect the casing string into the uh, CDS externally. And now they will make connection. Let's see this short video to show how they will connect the casing drive system. Now they will uh, try to release the uh, mechanical uh, part in the CDS to be able to connect another casing joint, like you see. So this one is external, external clamped. When you will use this external clamped, if the casing string smaller than 958 inches. So again, let's remember, if your casing string size bigger than 958 inches, so you will uh, use internal clamp CDS system. If the casing string smaller than 958, so uh, uh, the external clamp, it, it will be recommended. Like you see here, uh, this operation to connect another casing joint. Unique technology to connect your casing, drill the whole section using the casing string. And once you reach the target depth, you will be on the bottom. No need to trip back, to trip out, to change something. You no need to prepare for casing string to run after that. It will be on depth at the same time. It will be at the depth at the same time after you finish your drilling operation. So now the uh, rig crew uh, connected the, uh, uh, the casing string and they will apply the torque from the CDS system. Remember, the torque will not be from the top drive. The torque 
will be from the casing drive system, internal or external. Okay, still they will apply torque. And here this uh, special equipment, we will talk about this one also, torque monitor system, torque monitoring system to monitor the torque while connection, while drilling. It is not the same like conventional drilling operation. We need some equipment to be on location. Okay, they now they already finish this connection and start uh, continue drilling operation using casing string. Also we need, still we talk about the casing wire drilling equipment. We need casing string itself, the casing string. The casing string, it can consist of drill bit, uh, just only drill bit if we talk about the uh, non-retrievable system, if you remember or in the retrievable system, we can uh, consider under reamer, we can consider under reamer, uh, and if it will be retrievable, so in this case, we need to connect the bottom hole assembly into the casing string, because we can retrieve the bottom hole assembly at any time, but how to connect the bottom hole assembly, drill bit, under reamer, drill cooler if we have, how to be connected to the casing string itself. Here we need this DLA, DLA, drill lock assembly, drill lock assembly, this section. This is the way to connect your bottom hole assembly into the casing string itself. And from this one, we can retrieve our bottom hole assembly at any time. Someone can ask a question. The casing string itself, it will be the same like uh, conventional drilling or uh, we need to uh, uh, modify the casing string. The answer for this question, it will be the same. The same grade, the same size, whatever you will use, L80, which grade, which size, it will be the same because we will modify the design of the casing to be casing drilling, not to be casing and set for cement operation. So using this uh, uh, drill lock assembly, we can connect the bottom hole assembly into the casing string. And from this drill lock assembly, we can retrieve the, uh, uh, the drilling uh, bottom hole assembly. Yeah, so here, this one, I think this figure better than the last one. Uh, we have internal bottom hole assembly and we have external bottom hole assembly. Internal and external. This external, it will be, if you, you can see here, this one external. External, it will be below the casing shoe. Here, this one is a casing shoe. Remember, the bottom hole assembly here connected to uh, casing string, but we can retrieve this bottom hole assembly at any time. So we have two sections. One to be internal, this one internal, and one to be external below the casing shoe. So the internal, including the DLA, you remember DLA, what's the meaning of DLA? Drill lock assembly, this one, drill lock assembly, to lock the bottom hole assembly into the casing string. And the other section here, external, external bottom hole assembly, it will be below the casing shoe, including the drill bit, stabilizer, under reamer, all of this, this one. So the casing string consists of internal bottom hole assembly and external bottom hole assembly. So if uh, you find any reference or manual, and this manual uh, mention internal uh, bottom hole assembly in casing wire drilling, you have to understand this internal, it will be inside the casing. And the external, it will be below the casing shoe. How to retrieve the bottom hole assembly from the casing? 
from this DLA, Drill Lock Assembly. This is a way to lock, to connect your uh, bottom wall assembly into the casing string, and also it will be the way to retrieve the bottom wall assembly. And other equipment for uh, cementing operation, for example, we need the, the bump down displacement plug. And this one, the same normal, uh, same as uh, conventional drilling. We need plug while cementing operation, we need to drop the plug to displace the cement and to prevent the YouTube effect because the cement normally will be heavier than drilling fluid. So we need to set this plug and apply pressure to avoid any flow back, to avoid YouTube from the annular side into the casing side. So we need this one, bump down displacement plug. And in this technology, in this casing-wide drilling operation, we will consider this torque ring. You can see this one, torque ring, or we can call this one multi-loop torque ring. What is the benefit? Why we need this one? Remember, during casing wire drilling operation, we have high torque. High torque can damage the casing thread itself. So how to prevent damaging of the casing thread? We can install this uh, 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 torque ring in between casing connection. You can see here this pin and the other side also is pin. And in between, we have this torque ring. I know this one is not clear right now, so uh, we can uh, watch a short video. Once we will talk about the casing design for this operation. But right now, we need this torque ring. Remember, we, we, we will face a problem while casing wire drilling operation, we have high torque, the casing string, it can, uh, the casing size or casing thread, it can be damaged. So we need to install this torque ring, just try to uh, prevent any damage to the casing thread. And as normal, also we need uh, casing centralizer as normal drilling operation or as normal casing operation, we need centralizer to keep the casing in the center of the hole. And the casing centralizer is very, very important while running hole with casing string and also while bumping cement. Because while bumping cement, we need to keep the casing string in the center of the hole to be able to uh, bump the cement and uh, uh, make it homogeneous. Uh, there is no gap in the annulus. There is no air pocket in the annulus. So the same job will be uh, uh, perfect if we have this centralizer. And for your information, um, it will not be uh, like uh, we need to install number of centralizers at any place. We have uh, design for the centralizers how many centralizers we need to install, at which depths we need to install centralizers. So uh, this is a big issue. It's not easy to consider centralizers. And remember, while drilling, we need also to request torque monitoring device. We need to monitor the drilling torque. Very, very important. And we need to consider the limit of the drilling torque to avoid any downhole problem. All of this equipment, it has to be available on location to perform casing wire drilling operation. So what about the casing design? Again, it will not be same like uh, casing design as normal as conventional drilling. Because here we have a lot of problems. The casing will be used to drill the whole section. High torque, high collapse, a lot of problems. So we need to consider all of these factors 
while we make our design. So some factors we need to consider during this phase, casing design. Number one, consider the drilling torque in your design. Number two, you need to consider the casing connection. The casing connection because we have torque and the casing connection can damage. So we need to consider casing connection. What about the body strength, the casing body strength? Casing collapse and casing wear while drilling. While drilling, we have casing wear. We will talk about all of these uh, factors one by one. But just to take overview, all of these factors need to be considered if you will start to uh, prepare for this uh, casing while drilling operation. Consider the drilling torque, the casing connection, the body strength, the casing collapse, and also the casing wear while drilling. I think we talked about this uh, uh, factor, the casing uh, drilling torque, and the, uh, it will be uh, high torque because we have uh, casing string weight it is not same like drill pipe weight. So we will have high torque. We need to require the service equipment to be able to provide this uh, downhole uh, rotation. And also we need uh, uh, to consider this torque and we need to set our limit when we need to stop operation. When we need to stop operation, if the torque reach certain value, we will stop operation. What about the casing connection? To be honest, this figure is not casing. This one, uh, it can be drill pipe, a drill corner, but just I brought this figure uh, to show uh, what is the problem here. If we have over torque, over torque, like you see here, the thread completely damaged. The thread completely damaged. Why? Because we have over torque. So while we prepare for casing wire drilling operation, we start to design this operation. It has to be the main concern. You need to consider the torque, respect the drilling torque, and they try to solve the problem. How to solve the problem here? We have mainly two options. Try to solve this problem, casing connection problem. Number one, try to uh, uh, select and use the casing string to be shoulder connection, shoulder connection. From the left side here, there's none uh, shoulders. There is no shoulder here. So if we will connect or if we will use this casing string, it can damage, it can be damaged. Uh, uh, the second one here, this one, we have shoulder. So, uh, it will be a solution. And in this case, we will have two torque shoulders. The internal well in the box side, it will be uh, the secondary shoulder, uh, secondary torque shoulder. And uh, the first point, the first point in the box side, it will be the primary torque shoulder. So we have two shoulders. What is the meaning of shoulders? We need to stop stop uh, connecting or stop rotation or stop uh, uh, damaging the casing string. While drilling, as we have over torque, what will happen? The casing joint will, will be under high torque. So we need to be fixed. We need to be fixed here to stop torque. This is a solution, but this one, it will be very, very expensive. We need to request a special casing to be shoulder connections, and it will be uh, very expensive. Another solution to avoid this problem with high torque, it will be uh, uh, by using this stop ring, stop ring. Uh, uh, let's video this, let's uh, uh, watch this video together, sorry, and see. 
uh, how to install this stopping and how to avoid or solve this problem. Now this uh, operator, now we will, he will install the uh, uh, stop ring. Just he will start first to measure the depth of the thread and then uh, set this stop ring and torque this stop ring, this torque machine. Okay, apply torque in this stop ring to confirm it will be in the correct depth, in the correct place, correct position. And then he will, again, he will check the depth after installing this stop ring. In each connection, he will uh, insert this stop ring. In each connection, he will insert this stop ring. Like you see from your side, he will measure the depth of the thread after installing the stop ring. So this is stop ring here, it will be a, a barrier in between these two casing threads. So there is no connection in between. So there is no damage. This one can be the best solution. This one uh, cheaper than shoulder connection. Also, while we prepare this casing design, we need to consider the body strengths. While drilling operation, normally while drilling operation, we will have a lot of uh, forces, internal uh, force or internal pressure, external pressure, axial load, all of this will make our casing strength to be very, very weak. So we need to consider all of these factors the internal pressure, the external pressure, and the axial load while rotation. Casing collapse. Also, this one, it will be very, very important. It will not be same. It will not be same like conventional. The casing collapse, it will not be same like conventional. Why? Remember, in this technology, the clearance between the casing string and the formation side, it will be very, very small. What is the problem? It will affect in the casing collapse. Normally, while drilling operation, the maximum collapse will be at the bottom. When the, the casing string reach the bottom, it will be the maximum collapse. But here we have a problem in this casing wire drilling technology. The maximum collapse, it can be at the surface. It is not logic, but let's see what, will, uh, what we will discuss. How the casing collapse will be maximum at the surface. Again, remember, the clearance between the casing string itself and the formation side is very, very small. And here I will talk about the gas kick. I will talk about wool control. What will happen if we have wool control issue while using this technology? Normally, if we have a wool control incident, it means that we have gas pocket and the gas pocket will migrate to the service, whatever under control or without control while circulation, while bumping kill fill out, or uh, without control, if we will keep the well open, the gas will uh, uh, migrate to the surface. But the problem here in this casing wild drain technology, it will be very, very risky. The problem here that the casing collapse pressure will be the highest value at the surface. Why? Let's see what is the problem. The problem here, you can imagine. At the time of the gas kick at the bottom, the gas kick at the bottom, how many barrels we have? We have 50 barrels. We have 100 barrel gas pocket. 
And in the analyst side, we have gases. In the casing side, internally, we have drilling fluid like normal. If you will start killing operation, if you will start killing operation, what will happen? You will bump your heavy fluid, heavy kill fluid from the casing side, from in the internal side, and the gas will start to circulate or to displace to the, the surface from the analyst side. Before, before the kill fluid reach the bottom, the gas can reach the surface from the annulus because we have very, very small clearance. So it will not take time. It will not, uh, it will not be a big issue to reach the surface. The gas will reach the surface very, very easy. The problem here, when the gas or when the kill fluid reached the bottom of the uh, casing string. At this moment, if you will stop bumping, you will find that we have zero pressure in the casing string side, because now we have a heavier fluid, heavier mud in the casing string. So zero pressure, there is no pressure internally. What about external side? In the external side, we have gases and the gases reach the surface. So we have external pressure. Once we have external pressure higher than internal, we have collapse. This is a problem here in casing wild drilling. We need to consider casing collapse. If the kill fluid was bumped to the bottom and there is no pressure in the casing string, zero pressure, at the same moment we have casing in the annulus and the casing, the, sorry, we have gas in the annulus and the gas reaches the surface, at this moment, we have a problem. We have casing collapse. And the casing collapse, it will not be at the bottom. It will be at the surface. This is a problem here. We need to consider casing collapse. The last point here in this casing design, the casing wear while drilling. If we will go back to the conventional drilling, you will uh, run your drill string, drill pipe, in, inside the casing string. So the wearing will be internally, internally. Like you see here, the rotation of the drill string, drill pipe or drill puller, it will make wearing internally in the casing string. But while using this casing wire drilling technology, the wearing will be external. Why? Because remember, you will rotate your casing string. So the contact in between casing and the formation will be external. So you have to consider this one. You have to consider this one. The external wearing while operation. Now we already uh, uh, prepared our equipment. We already prepared our uh, casing design and we successfully finished drilling operation using the casing string. And this is a correct time now to start cementing operation. How to perform cementing operation using casing wire drilling? There is no difference between conventional drilling process or casing wire drilling operation. The cementing operation almost will be same. Here also you will bump your cement and displace the cement into the annular side. You will try to uh, uh, bond the casing into the formation by bumping cement in the clearance between casing string and the formation side. But here it will be better than conventional drilling. This cement job, it will be better than cement job after finish conventional drilling. Why? Because in the conventional drilling, if we have any problem while bumping cement, we have only two options. To reciprocate the casing string, sometimes we can move it up and down very short distance. And circulation bumping, but here 
you have option of rotation. You can rotate your casing, whatever uh, uh, you will rotate from the surface or uh, down hole. But this option, it will be very, very uh, uh, variable if there is any problem down hole while bumping cement. And also as a conventional drilling, we need to consider uh, centralizers. We need to consider centralizers. Here we have this short video. This uh, uh, centralizer, it has to uh, install in the casing. This is stopping below. And as I, I mentioned before, number of centralizers and the position of the centralizer, uh, it will be designed. It will not be uh, by luck. We need to make design to set the correct number of centralizer in the correct place in the casing string. And this centralizer will make our casing string to be in the center of the hole. And also the cement bumping will be better with using this number of centralizers. Before start run hole with casing string, Remember that you will uh, reach the bottom and then you will start bumping cement. So you have to consider the float cooler. You need to uh, uh, make up or install float cooler into the casing string from the beginning before start running hole. In uh, uh, most, most time, this uh, uh, float cooler will be connected to the first joint, the first joint of the casing string from the workshop, it will not be connected on the location. It will be connected from the workshop. So you need to check that you have float cooler in your uh, casing string to be able to pump your cement and to avoid any blowback of the cement from the annulus into uh, uh, the casing site. This float cooler will uh, uh, fabricated will fabricate from the same uh, steel as the casing string because it will also uh, uh, suffer from the wearing torque uh, uh, any uh, uh, collapse all of this issues need to be considered even for this fluid cooler it will not be the same fluid cooler like normal like conventional drilling but it has to be uh, modified to, uh, to be able to resist any erosion of the drilling fluid, to resist uh, any different forces, internal, external. So this one also very, very important. Here you'll see how to perform semen job. Like you can see from your side here, there's a casing drilling, uh, casing wide drilling uh, technology. After reach the target depths, what will uh, happen? We can bump the plug, okay? And this one, drillable, drillable bit, okay? Bump the plug and start bumping cement, display the cement into the annulus. And in the next step in the future, after that, we can run hole with the drill bit inside this casing string and the drill this drill bit. So this drillable, drillable drill bit, the drill bit, which will be connected to the casing string here, drillable. So this is, has to be questioned. You need to ask yourself, after I reach the uh, target depths, how to continue drilling operation? How to continue the next section? If we have drill bit at the bottom and this one cemented. Here, this one will be drillable, drill bit. Modified drill bit, you will be able to drill this bit after finish your semen job. The last slide in our uh, uh, webinar, in our meeting today, after we discuss all of this point, starting from uh, what is the meaning of casing wire drilling and uh, review the history of the casing wire drilling technology and which equipment we need to be considered. And uh, while making our design, what is the 
factors we need to be uh, aware while making design like collapsing like wearing like damaging on the thread now how or what will decide if casing while drilling is suitable for this specific project or it is not uh, uh, accepted after we cover all these topics and we are sure that casing wide drilling will give us higher performance. I talk about the drilling performance, but still right now we need to answer this question. What will decide if casing wide drilling is suitable for a specific project or it is not accepted and we need to go conventionally. We need to uh, drill our whole section uh, using drill bit, drill cooler, drill pipe as normal. Actually, the geology of the uh, the earth, the geology of the formation in this site, it can be factor. Some type of uh, formations, it will be very hard or uh, uh, it will uh, uh, result a lot of problems while using this casing wide drilling if we will stop drilling operation and we cannot retrieve the casing string to the surface or we cannot reach the target depth. So no need to try to use this technology. Also, the rig type. You remember, we need to uh, uh, make some modifications in the rig. We need to add some equipment. We need to connect CDS casing drive system to the truck dive. So the rig type this is very, very important. And this rig, it has to be equipped with truck drive. We need to consider to drive if the rig uh, uh, operated by uh, using a Kelly, so it is not uh, accepted. We need to drive. We will connect CDS direct to to drive, but if we have Kelly, there is no option here. And the last factor which will decide if we will accept this uh, technology in our drilling operation, that we need a, a pumping system. We need pumping system, we need mud system to be able to apply the required hydraulics. We need to modify our hydraulics. Remember that we have very small clearance. Sometimes you need to reduce uh, your uh, uh, bumping rate. Sometimes you need to increase your bumping rate. So. All of these uh, factors, the formation geology, the rig type, uh, the top drive, and the mud system or the bumping system, it can be a factor to decide if you will utilize this casing wide drilling technology or you will not consider this technology and you will go normally using drill pipe instead of casing. Now we uh, uh, almost to reach our uh, last point in our webinar and you are welcome if you have any question uh, we can uh, open the discussion thank you thank you so much engineer Henny, for this super informative webinar and now for a quick q a session um, the first question what will you avoid the collapse due to the gas pocket you mentioned for the casing. Okay, uh, for this one, uh, if we need to avoid the collapse, number one, you have to consider to be overbalanced all the time. There's no any way, there is no any option to get any gas uh, pocket during uh, uh, drilling uh, operation using this casing wide drilling. This is number one. Number two, we can uh, uh, change our killing technique. So it will not be same like uh, weight and weight or driller method. Why? Because we need to uh, uh, make uh, uh, equalization, try to make equalization in between the internal pressure and the external pressure, at least till you uh, uh, remove the gas out of the well. But uh, uh, to be honest, it will be very, very difficult situation if you killed your drill string completely and still you have gases in the annulus and at this moment, you have zero pressure 
in the casing string side, and you have gas pocket with a formation pressure in the uh, annulus side. So uh, we need to make some modification in this uh, uh, killing techniques. And there is a lot of uh, uh, paper, uh, technical paper, uh, discuss this issue. How to avoid casing collapse while uh, uh, will control operation if we will utilize casing while drilling operation. Okay. And the, and the second question, the float collar will be located above the bit in the CWD system one. But in the other two systems, how flood collar is installed and its location? Okay, that's a good question also. Uh, in, in this case, it will be a uh, flubber, flubber, uh, uh, flood cooler. It will be part of our uh, casing string. We can open this flubber while uh, running hole with the bottom hole assembly. And once we retrieve this bottom hole assembly, the flubber will close. So it will act as a fluid cooler. It will not be the same fluid cooler in the conventional drilling. Uh, this is a way how to uh, insert your fluid cooler in the type or in the system of casing wide drilling if we will use retrievable system. It will be fluid cooler, it will be flubber connected or uh, inserted in the casing string. Uh, we can, during running hole uh, with the bottom hole assembly, we can open this flubber to pass and after that, if we will retrieve the bottom hole assembly after we reach the bottom, uh, uh, the flubber will be closed and then we can start uh, cementing operation. Okay. And the last question, how to deal with the placement of centralizers as uh, they will create more friction? Okay, this is very, very important question regarding centralizers. Uh, we need to differentiate between the centralizer position in vertical hole or in deviated hole. Okay, in vertical hole, in deviated hole. The modification in this centralizers, it, it depends. Uh, if we will go uh, directional hole, uh, we will avoid to, uh, uh, to insert this centralizer in the high angle, in the high angle to avoid high differential, high differential pressure or high friction in between the casing string and the formation side. So, uh, this position or where is the point of the centralizer in the casing string, it has to be uh, designed using software. It is not manual calculations to consider where is the point. We need to, uh, to prepare uh, friction uh, stress analysis and check at which point in the whole geometry it will be the maximum or the highest friction, and we will try to install uh, centralizer at this point. So uh, this one, you can use this one in the service company, for example, Schrambergier, uh, part of casing design to uh, install or to consider the position of the centralizers. Thank you so much, the, uh, engineer Hani again. And to highlight, this session has been recorded and will be uploaded soon on PyPetro YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much uh, and bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.